Welcome everybody back to Spin Rack. I'm on full blast today, just so you guys know. And I have my boys, PD and Cal. You know, welcome back. Today we're talking about it's just news. one name. Oh, PD and Cal. Yeah, just say PD and Cal. Yeah. So I'm like back to. So we're, this today we're talking about New Mutants. It's coming out. The movie's going to drop April 3rd. Disney is finally doing it. Is it worth seeing? Is this not? This is supposed to be a YA. Um, April 3rd this year. April 3rd, April 1st is April Fool's. They're April Fool's. They're not going to let this come out. This movie's coming out. Disney's going to come out. <laughs> this is a movie or a yeah, television so this, show? This is a movie that's had a lot of delays. It was and originally no promotion. Pro it was originally that's a Fox a property. Other, that's a big it deal. It was a Fox property by Josh Boone and uh, Nate Lee, who's the writer, and they were supposed to come out in, as a horror, a horror young adults version of the, um, they said Breakfast Club. That's what they horror? were. Horror? It was yeah, it was, it was going okay. to the DMV. No, no, he said so. horror. I don't know I what horror. horror. That's what I just said. Horror. I don't know horror. 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 I just said horror. that. Horror. So in this horror <laughs> film. Say it like you're from Brooklyn. Horror. There you go. In this horror it's film. It's a horror film. <laughs> in this horror film, you have the characters, basically, they, he, the, the director said he wanted to be similar to The Breakfast Club, that they're in detention and all the crazy stuff that happens to them. And um, mm. they, they're using it. We, I thought originally it would be The Demon Bear, but this is what they're doing. Well, they're doing The Demon so, Bear. No, I say they're not doing that. They're not. They're too tossed out the beam. I that was the whole hook of the thing. Good, good, good. 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 Save you know the demon bear for the good film, because this so obviously doesn't what? work. What? It's supposed to be part of a trilogy, so I may be wrong. The so whole demon bear thing is a, is a horror aspect. Exactly. That so this, this cat has been, been haunting Danny Moonstar from the beginning, and then when you see it, and it, it's also like a redo of, a, I think it's a, either a movie poster that, Alan, that um, Neil Adams did, but then did in his style a similar bear, but it's just like so big in comparison. Yeah, it's like to bananas. And so it's giving you that demon bear that we were like, I was like, there's no way they could top that, and they found they found a way to to match what we were thinking and go beyond that. So what issue was that the demon bear? 18, 18 New 19, Mutants. Yeah, no. it's, it's a long it's, running. Yeah, yeah. You have to get to because he's right. it's, this is supposed to be the downfall of Danny Moonstar, right. and then when we finally get to it, and Chris Claremont has a lot of plot lines that don't always get there, but there's a lot of intrigue as you get in worry that these characters have these Phoenix-like deaths or something like that. And Danny was like, well, how are they going to get to that? He said, well, Bill Sienkiewicz, he, he got us there. So um, this <laughs> so Disney is basically coming out with a film that Fox had been putting on hold for quite a few times. For Fox! Fox, which now is part of Disney. So now they're going to go with the original Josh Boone, Nate Lee um, um, film, which is you know, the question is whether they're, they're not doing any reshoots, they're just putting it they're out. They're burying there. it. They're so putting the it out is, and burying it like they did the Rocketeer. So the question is, what are they doing? Ooh. April 3rd. Ooh, ooh, that was hard. That was hard. That's, that's what they did. They're going to, oh, man. Yeah. They did a Rocky on the Rocketeer. Okay, wow. All right. <laughs> hey, I'm going to say right now, we haven't seen any promotion. That's, a, this, that's point This screen two. behind me, okay, looks, looks as intriguing as some teenage boys decided to mm -hmm. urinate on the wall, oh and, and these streaks over here, what we got left. Even so far. You know, and then it, it <laughs> oh, 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 goodness. Look, man. are you serious? I mean, this is one of the hottest genres right now is horror. And then one of the things. But it's not, he's talking about the, also the, the yellow tape, the yellow the scratch new type. In the back, weak. you see people. It looks like they don't care. It looks like this is a film that has to come out whether they want to do it or not. It was pushed back. This looks like one of these pay or play things. But look, you know, we're better off putting out the film than. You know, paying these well, people this money, so we gotta have to pull the. Well, they have the Disney Plus distribution. They could always say, "Hey, this is a it's an original film for Disney Plus," and it will be legit. No, but I think that they think it's even worse. But I think they think they're not gonna promote it that way to put it on their thing. The thing is like this: they want, as you, I think you were saying it before, they had a window, they had an opening. And the thing is, is that they ask for a bunch of reshoots and changes and all that, which is standard in no, the no, industry. No, no, I'm not saying. I'm saying that if you're gonna bury it, why put any more money into it? Why do what they did with um, with Dark Phoenix, where they said, all right, they cut it from two films to one, but then they had reshoots. If they're going to bury it, just show the movie they had before and end it. And I think that's what they're doing. And they're they say, they're already saying, you know what, we're not going to put any money into it. They just because they said, Disney said, we asked for change, and now somehow they're just like, yeah, go with the cut we have, because they're going to bury it anyway. Right. But and the fact is, the fact that you have, I mean, they don't have the, where it started from, the, the, the original, but they have Ileana R Rasputin. So you have that character who's the most dynamic of the team. Like I think uh, Mark Silvestri, when he was about to draw the comic, he was like saying, 
Well, at the point he was about to take over, they got rid of that character, and that would have been a fun character to do. She has a soul sword. I think they might be using some of that stuff. So that's where you get to. Yeah, she had her own limited. She had her own limited series. You know, she, she was that a was a, that was a horror thing too. That was yeah. a, the Belasco, that yeah. whole thing. So you have horror elements, and Chris Claremont isn't above going to, towards the Stephen King aspect and yeah. that sort of thing. It's horror and occult to a yeah, certain yeah. extent. Yeah. All right. So, so there's elements is? that could be successful. They didn't use the problem is that uh, besides Ileana, I don't think they used the faces of all of the characters that was Bob. Uh, was it uh, Bob McCloud? Like used he gave them very distinct faces. Like as far as drawing kids, right. he had you know giving these pr these characters strong characteristics. Especially Cannonball, and now they just gave somebody some average, um, I guess, white trash kid in the role. They say, "All right, that will work." Where you have a, s a specific face that they could use, they just said, "We're going to throw that stuff out." The new, the New Mutants isn't the best or a classic, necessarily a classic look, but it was a fun book, and they could be fun characters. But I don't, I think. I think Disney's kind of, at least whatever we have here, they're just kind of going to bury it, and that's going to be a sad thing, not letting it promote it as they're supposed to. Like LL said on Def Jam, he said that to Jay-Z, I want my records promoted. I need my records promoted. You got to promote this. I need my records promoted. And Cal's already said they're not promoting it. Which so means we're going to do 13 and out, which was LL's. <laughs> So, right, that, so look, the question we need to look at is... And hasn't what, done an album since. Well, he's coming back, he's coming back to Def Jam. Hopefully the interest is there, but he just killed it at the New Year's Rock and Eve. Destroyed it. All right, so like a young man. And you didn't send me the link. Thanks, Pete. I don't have. I'll send you the link. So the question, and I'm, I'm looking here, and I'm listening to everything you're saying, but I'm trying to find out what is coming out um, April third, right? Fatherhood. Fatherhood. Lovebirds. Lovebirds. New Mutants. Peter Rabbit two. Okay. They're gonna lose to Peter Rabbit two. <laughs> All right. But because right Peter Rabbit, the first movie, that was a lot of fun. But right before it, they're going to have Mulan. That's a Disney movie. And they're going to knock New... The, the, Mulan is going to be one week, and then that's not. I don't know. And the week before that is A Quiet Place. Did you see Peter Rabbit? No. It's good. That Peter. was a lot of fun. Go on and run. Go on and so hide. So Disney is thinking that they're going to have Mulan there, and they need a superhero film to come out. They're going to have New Moons. But here's what happens after that. They have, in May, on May 2nd, just two, three well, weeks you later, we're not, we they're going to have Black Widow. So it should have enough legs, theoretically, if it's done properly, and it's interesting that it, for it to, 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 to do well. This, There's is a short, this is a short show. Petey's right. You're wrong. Well, but you see, Peter Rabbit was a great first film. Oh, my gosh. He's a rabbit. Look, I'm Peter just saying, rabbit. I think the problem Let's is go. we're looking at the traditional superhero film people, and, we're, and I think what they're trying to put this in is trade this as a horror film. It's a, it's a horror. No, they were originally planned trying to do that. Horror. And then next thing you know, horror. what they did. I just said that, bro. Yeah. Hurrah. I just said that, bro. I don't know about horror. I don't know what that is. I just said that. The horror film with um with um with them. So there there may be an opening. Probably we, if when we does Wonder Woman come out? In April, right? In June. In June, okay. So it's May, that, it's May. There, there goes that theory. So it's May that's that's <laughs> what I was looking at. That's what I was looking at. So it's May for um for um, Black Widow. Look, what, what, what's that, what, what is the month that they like to do to drop films in and say, hey, let's see what the hell happens? January. It's, huh? No, January. March. It's March, and then maybe like, and then guys, they're, they're really like bleeding right in with that first week of April. Mm -hmm. so that's where, that's the Matrix. All these films where they were like, look, we don't know where to put this because we're not sure how this film is going to perform and it doesn't fit into any particular genre right now. So what do you do? You go over there, you drop it in, you know, you drop it in March. Mm -hmm. They also did that for BVS, Batman versus Superman. I and we know all about that film. So, we're not seeing any promotion. I haven't even heard of any announcements as to who's playing. They just playing announced the, it. No, announcements as to who's playing the roles. Or, you know, nothing. Arya Stark, the girl who played Arya Stark, is going to be in it. Who, who's she going to be? Wolfsbane? I don't know who she's going to be. She's going to be Wolfsbane, I believe. She's yeah, gonna be she Wolfsbane. could do Wolfsbane. She looks homely. Right. And so the thing is that you have is that Ooh, the question is. That, that, that was and, just and this, nah, That was mean. And this is. I know, you guys are horrible. And so one of the things that they're saying. I didn't saying, say. How was you guys? I didn't, how are you putting me with him? Yeah. I just said it was mean. Because. I didn't say I agreed that she was homeless. So the point I'm trying to make is that there's uh, there's a rumor that there is. Uh, Didn't she uh, get busy in Game of Thrones? People liked the, her. Yeah, she did. She got some bits on her. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't say the, it. The, the, the problem I is, is that there, there's a thought that there's a, um, a Game of Thrones curse. So everyone who's been in those shows, the movies that they've been involved in, if Disney's involved in it, is a, is a Disney curse because they torched them. Right. 
<laughs> so Disney Torch, Dark Phoenix. So yeah, there's gonna be a curse. And Kit Harrington actually did a good so. turn in MI6. So that was that was fine. He was in MI6. He was in MI6. He was also in. What uh, was he doing in MI6? He was the lead. And then he was also in that other no, film. No, Cav um, Cavill was the lead. Was the lead villain. No, not cool. you know. You're thinking Mi Mission Impossible. Yeah. Mission Impossible. The, the name of the film was MI6. Kit Harrington was in the lead in the film MI6. He was also in the other film. Uh, based on what was the name of that uh, Guy Fox? No, no, no. It was based on the uh, the Pompeii. He was in Pompeii. Yeah, but that was uh, Pompeii. All right, yo, dude. So he only talks blockbusters. Hey, gentlemen. So, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. So, well, wait. Just a rip. Some right. We we we're, we're right there. We are right there. But um, man, he made me forget my thoughts. So we'll close it out. Yeah. No, what are you gonna say? I mean, if it's why? It, we we don't, let, why do we need to extend this any further? We all know what's gonna happen. The what? aspect of them putting this out means that. I mean, you can't have two big losses under the Disney umbrella. Like, have Dark Phoenix and this tank to totally. They're losing money right, when they can try to make money. But look, if it but works... It's in the big but money if it works, business. If this works, two things happen. That you One, can't do another New Mutants for another five years? If it works, two things happen. One, you know, they have now gotten the superhero genre into the, the horror. And two... Mm. And two... What is the problem with you you're people? The, you're the best. And two... They introduce mutants into the, the the they can start slowly introducing the the, the mutants into the um, Disney the Marvel. Is it going to be PG thirteen? Because it was you said it was horror, and then yeah. it's going to be it's going to be I happy death it, day. It's going to be like PG thirteen. Mm. It actually the the initial screenings did well, like the original Deadpool movie. As long as it's better than um, what's that thing Glass? Because it's and I guess it had parts in the insane asylum. As long as it's better than Glass. That's all I'm asking. That's not too hard, right? <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. But the, if you look at, we, we, we'll have a picture up of some of the classic versions of the New Mutants, which has, you know, which is... FOTV. Bob Stare McCloud, um, Bill Sienkiewicz, we got Art Adams, a lot of classic people, on, even had uh, Brett Belvin. You know we're not getting any of that. But I'm saying, this is a, some classic characters that if you we're go in Cable, it. we also have Cable, who was the leader of the new, or the, or the mentor that's, of the new That's mutants. way past so the time many period. cool way stuff you can then. And if yeah, you we're not getting any of that. We're getting past. We're getting this exactly now, what you see right here. We're getting we urine on the wall. <laughs> If you That's take this now, you then we won't get to see bodies. them. We won't get to see them later. Yes. So if we get to see in the next Deadpool f film having Cable with his young charges. X Force, yes. Which is his young charges? You said X Force with Ileana. She didn't even. She should have hey, been on that team. I like Ileana. I thought she was a great character. They've not done enough with her. I yeah. like Zatanna. And we a side note: we're also going to lose our X Men. Um, 143, which Bendis was going to be a part of. We're going to lose that ho other horror thing that they were going to do. They've totally gotten rid of that. So they And that's one that didn't get... It was only in development. It didn't get up to that. So that's what you can do. You can say, you know what? Bendis has moved on. You need to move on, my friend. I'm not just saying. That's how you do so it. The mutants have moved on. We all need to wait. I'm just saying. They're they're already, I'm saying that they already that got to it. That last movie was... They already movie. got to it, and then they, they didn't make it. So then they just got rid of it. This you can't get rid of. Both movies are already done. So put it out there and promote it. Promote that movie, Disney. Uh, hey, I'm great. I, I'm with summarizing. I agree with PD. <laughs> get out there and promote it. People go out there and watch New Mutants. Great franchise. It could ever. That, that's they're finally better poster, a chance, you know, better trailer country. next, please. Yes, urine on the screen. Spin rack. Hout. Ooh.